good day, judges. We are team with entry number 4372, presenting on the Energy Efficiency Initiative, which is aimed at attaining SDG 3 and 7 by 2030. Now, now my, my very close aunt lost her life some years back due to malaria. One of my team members also lost her relative, owing to the same problem. Health records from Ghana National College showed that there was 70% increase in malaria cases in 2017. We noticed that this was on a wide scale, as a report from Child Fund proved that the 214 million malaria cases in 2017 increased to 219 million malaria cases. Also, losing 35 productive hours a week owing to power outages was a menace to our community, as well as lack of awareness on renewable energy, which was causing 80% of the people to opt for CFLs instead of LEDs. My team members and I reached out to communities nearby and realized that they face these same problems. This propelled my team members and I to brainstorm on what to do to curb these menaces. First, we thought of producing a repellent and then a bulb that can produce light during power outages. We asked ourselves why not fuse the two and this led to the birth of our mosquito trapping emergency bulb. In this bulb, we used an LED plate to ensure 70% energy. We also introduced an iVolt battery which provides energy for use during power outages. Our team members and I opted for plastic bulb plates instead of glass to ensure durability and a specialized resistor has been introduced to attract and trap mosquitoes. The amazing thing is that our bulb can be repaired and can be lighted with moist fingers. It takes just five minutes to assemble one of our LED bulbs. Firstly, wires are soldered to the LED board. The board is tested and placed into a housing. The housing is clipped and a plastic cap is placed on the other end of the housing. The bulb is tested and box for sale. We started our initiative with funds from the National Science and Math Science Tech Fair exhibition, where we got an amount of $21.24, we received an amount of $1,825 from Exim Bank, and also an amount of $5,000 from the Tony Illumini Foundation program. In order to expand our production capacity, we plow back profits made from the sales of our bulb, and that is our economic sustainability funding strategy. With a unit cost of bulb being $2.74, the unit selling price is $4.56, and the unit profit is $1.82. We also pitch our ideas to investors for long-term investment, and that is our long-term funding mechanism. Concerning partnership, our partners are Memphis Bay Foundation, KFC, The Anzisha Price, and Solid Home Appliances Company Limited. Our bulb consumes 7 watts of power, costing $4, and can last for 25,000 hours. That's of the incandescent consume 60 watts, costing $1, and can last for 1,200 hours. And for CFO, it consumes 14 watts, costing $2, and lasts for 8,000 hours. For 25,000 hours, you'll be using 21 incandescent bulbs, which will cost $21. For the CFO, you'll be using three bulbs, costing $6, and for our LED bulb, just one, still remains $4. Cost on electricity, for these 25,000 years, 25,000 hours, for incandescent bulb, is $169. For CFO is fifty-two dollars, and for our LED bulb is thirty dollars. This leads to a total estimated cost of two hundred and eleven dollars for the incandescent bulb, fifty-four dollars for the CFO, and thirty-four dollars for our LED bulb. This clearly shows how much you'll be saving while using our LED bulb. After full implementation of our initiative in our school, we have a measured impact of saving four point zero five kilowatts per hour a year. Over thousand dollars has been saved a year. 100 perps were saved last academic term and half a ton of energy related waste caused by the usage of CFL and incandescent bulbs were also saved. Our school now uses 30% of solar energy. 54% malaria case has been reduced as compared to the 70% increase in 2017. We've been able to train 50 students on how to assemble our LED bulb as well as sensitize poor communities on the use of renewable energy sources. We have a projection plan for the years 2019, 2020, and 2021. Last year, we made a total number of sales of 1,000 and a unit net gain of $1.82 and a total net profit of $1,824.82 and donated 70 bucks. By the end of this year, we aim at making a total number of sales of 2,500, generating a total net profit of $4,562.04 and donate 100 bucks. To our business model, we have business to business model where we distribute or sell our products to big companies such as the Memphis Debate Foundation, where they also distribute our products to their beneficiaries. Also, we advertise our products on social media to our target market. With competent PhD holders as our board of directors, we have a competent team to run our business. Thank you.